All right, I finally decided to come out of the closet about this because it's just, I, I, nobody's paying attention and I'm never, not going to live forever and it's just going to die with me if I ever died. Now, Jesse Garant and Associates, fabulous people, did the CAT scans and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be, be able to prove this case and I have proven the case and additionally I have DNA tests and it's all 100% proven. There's no question what I'm saying and these are giants and that's a giant's fingertip right there. DNA tested, CAT scan, no question. Anyway, here's the problem. And if you need any CAT scans done, contact Fabio. Very, very good people. Excellent software, easy to use. Now, history. What's going to happen if these giants are accepted? Well, history is, is, is what it is said it was in the myths. Religion. Well, what's about that? Well, the earth is made out of giants. That's what they said in the religion. There's giants in the earth in those days, and they jumped away from it because it's just insane. Nobody would listen. Geology, what happens there? It's totally wrong. There's no such thing as metamorphosism. Well, I mean, let me put it this way. All, every, they started from the wrong place. If you don't start from the place where everything there is was created from life, you're in the wrong place. It's not just a box of rocks. And that, that I can absolutely prove, and I will show you in the coming video. Planetary formation, totally wrong. If what I'm saying is right, they're totally wrong. Big Bang, explain that one. Totally wrong again. You start from the wrong place, you don't get to the right place, you can't get there from where you start. Physics, again, I don't believe the things they're saying in physics. I think they're wrong because they're not starting from the fact that these things are alive, the earth is alive, and, that, I mean, you know, and I say to people on the internet, oh, you think the earth is alive, oh, yeah, 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 it's living, it's alive. Well, what does that mean? It's alive, and guess what? The moon has the highlands, plagioclases of the highlands, which plagioclases are tendon emplacements, and they are the things that show up. That's the smoking gun, and you know why? Because it doesn't deteriorate. It's so highly mineralized that it does not deteriorate, and it will last virtually forever. And not only is it on air, it's on Mars. And not only is it on Mars, it's on these asteroids and things. Uh, I don't know asteroids, but um, on, uh, I think they're on uh, comets or whatever. They're, they're everywhere. Everything is alive. They never started from life. They never got to the right place. And you will see, and I have proof. All right, very quickly, this is by uh, dev.biologist.org. And this is how tendons are built in, in the body. And their job is to anchor muscle masses and, 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 and keep your body from falling apart. And the tendons anchor, and they, when they first develop, they are they set up in this manner. And then you see the stem. There's a stem, a little tube that comes out, and it's a strap, and it becomes flexible and and pliable to some degree. And and then mineralization starts to take over in the center. And then you see this here. You got this mineral, and then you got something else changes to here, and then you got to this, and then there's about two or three other chemical transitions until you turn into the muscle mass and, and and when they fully develop you get this very very highly spiky mineralized and it says right here mineral mineralized all spikes everywhere and it is spiky and and then and that is inside the bone so the bone is like right here in a cavitation and then that holds it in there and this thing pulls it in, and it keeps your muscle from doing from flopping around and, and this right up above it is what is inside the um, mud fossils. And that right there is the circular pattern of a tendon investment. And those are the gnarly little balls that fit into the, in other words, that thing came down like this and invested in. And it's circular, and it has ridges, and they have balls that invest in. And there's an exact identical one of these on Mars that's completely eroded away. Because everything inside between it is, 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 is a different sort of tissue. This is the stuff that stays forever, and it's called plagioclases. And guess what? The moon has plenty of them, and so do the... Uh, comets or whatever they are. I'm telling you, the, the, the universe is a living organism. Case closed.
as far as I'm concerned, if you can come over, and, and it's being treated as a box of rocks, and it's not. And now that that is, is, is established, and to my mind, 100% established, explain to me all of the Big Bang Theory and all these things about globs of this coming together and this and that. Everything now changes. Everything. Not just history, not just mankind, not just the way the Earth is made, not just geology, physics, Big Bang. There's nothing that didn't change. Nothing. Everything has to be looked at differently. All the structures on Earth were built by giants. I, ha I can, we have examples of them with their handprints all in them. It's, it's, it's like the, it's like a smoking gun, the fingerprints. The, the, the everything is is verifiable as well. It's all there. There's nothing that, that is not explainable, and it, it's not explainable in the in the manner that is being explained right now. So history, in the ancientest part of history, appears to me to be correct. And nothing I'm hearing today matches up with what that would reflect. So now we have to look at these things. And if we don't look at them, we're being fools. And so far, that's been the status of the approach to this. Zero response, totally ignored. And that should not continue. All right, this is a, a tendon assembly, and there's your vein, and there's your artery. The arteries always blow out, the veins always stay capped because they have a, a valve in the veins. Now, the plagioclases are this stuff right here. See that? That's that gnarly plagioclase. And these come down, these straps come down. There's a strap right in there somewhere. It comes down, and then it vests in there. Now, I'll show you a bunch of these different ones. Now remember this, they're everywhere, and there is a sp specific uh, uh, composition to these things. Now there's a couple different things that can, can uh, exchange for each other, but it's, it's an understood crystalline process. And it's a uh, plagio case and hand samples often identified by the crystal twinning and, and grooved effect. It's, it, and he, they are here absolutely no question whatsoever about it. Now, here's the cool thing. Plagioclase is also a major constituent of the rock in the highlands of the Earth's moon. Guess what? It's also a major constituent of Mars. <laughs> and it's also a major constituent of everything in the universe. Because it's the constituent of life. And the universe is alive. And that's what I'm going to show coming up right now. All right, here's a tendon assembly from a gigantic creature. You know, for us it's gigantic. It's nothing like the giant's causeway, but this comes in and tapers in together. And you see the color of this stuff, this yellow? And down in here, these are spiky fibers. These are the plagioclases. This has been hit with acids from volcanic runoff. But if you see, this comes in just the way they all do, and then it invests in here. And that is the investment. And look, it's just like teeth. Just like it's got teeth. You see that? And in between each one of these is a hole. Oops. And those holes are where the blood goes, in between the, the spiky fibers. And, and that's exactly how they all, they have a, they just grab right in there and hold. And that's, and, and, and it's just the way it is. All right, that is a tendon enthesis point, and those are the spiky plagioclases that you find in the round ball that invests into tissue. All right, this is from um, commonswikimedia.org, and those are the plagioclases that are on the moon. Those are the rover's pictures from the moon, and those are plagioclases, and these, those are the mineral implants in the bones, and then the strap that comes back from these is eroded away, and, this, and, and all of this dust here, that is all the sediment of the body. And believe it or not, cells turn into sand. <laughs> cells are sand. Felspar is petrified cellular material. That's what felspar is. And when felspar erodes, it turns into sand. The earth is covered with sand, and that is the cells of creatures that have petrified and eroded. And I have recreated that process in the lab. 
and it's a process of electrification of tissues and I will show that well I have another uh, video about that um, anyway